Hi, Terry Van Noy. Welcome to Math Class with Terry V. Hope this video helps you out, and if you enjoy it, please share it, comment, or like it. And you can also go to my website, mathpowerline.com. It's a math resource blog, uh, lesson videos for students, and other resources for parents and teachers. Give me a call, or go to my website or email. All right, let's go to today's lesson. We've been doing a series of videos where I take you through single step, two step, multi step equations, and now we're going to continue on with some word problem applications, some story problems. At this point, you should pause the video, grab a piece of paper, and I challenge you to read and interpret each question, write the equation, which will be a multi step equation, and then solve. So, I'll see how you do. Go ahead. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and show the answers and then I'll kind of work backwards. Hopefully you've already tried these and the point is that you try them first and then I'll show you how to do them. Here we go. You can see the answers 28, 19, 6, and 61. Number 17. Alberto had some candy to give to his five children. We'll take note of that first. He took eight pieces for himself, and he took, that's a subtraction idea, then evenly divided the rest among his children. Each child received four pieces. With how many pieces did he start? If we focus on the question, that'll help us determine what the variable is. I'm going to say C for pieces of candy. So we start with a total number of pieces of candy, and it says that he took eight pieces for himself. So we're taking 8 out of that collection. That's a subtraction. Then he evenly divided the rest. Okay, That means that we're going to divide that by 5. Now the result would be 4 for each person. Alright, so what are we going to do first? Well, we're going to make sure that we get rid of this division here on the left by multiplying. Okay, So we're going to multiply both sides by 5. And of course, those fives there will cancel out. And we're going to go to C minus 8 is 20. And then, of course, we've got to add 8 to each side. And that will give us our answer of 28. All right, 28. Obviously, you saw the answer ahead of time there. All right, I hope you did okay. Let's see how you did on number 18. Jacob had some candy to give to his three children. Okay, a similar problem it looks like. He took 10 pieces for himself and evenly divided the rest among his children. Each child received three pieces. All right, you notice how it is exactly the same problem with different numbers. So if you had struggled with 17, you should try 18 right now. All right, do you have the equation correct? We're going to have C for pieces of candy. He took 10 pieces for himself. Evenly divided the rest among his children. How many children were there? Three, that's right. And we are going to say that that will give us three pieces. All right, we are going to multiply here by that three that's being divided on the left side there. And that will give us C minus 10 equals 9 and of course when we add 10 to each side that will give us our answer there. Alright, fairly simple of course after you saw the example from number 17. Hopefully that makes sense to you. Okay, that's a two-step equation. Now number 19, Shauna spent half of her weekly allowance playing mini golf. To earn more money, her parents let her clean the gutters for $7. What is her weekly allowance if she ended with $10? Let's come up with the equation. I'm going to say that her weekly allowance is A, and she spent half of her allowance, and so I'm going to chop her allowance in half. All right, that's how much money she has now. She spent half of it. And to earn more money, her parents let her clean gutters for $7. In other words, she gained $7. All right? And the result was $10. All right. Now we're going to undo this in a couple of steps. 
And that's going to be, first of all, the free number, subtract 7. And so a over 2 equals 3. We are going to multiply both sides by 2. And we will get the answer, of course, as given, $6. All right. As we substitute that in there, let's see if it works. Half of $6 is 3. She gets $7 more, and that will be 10. All right, so we substitute it in and we check it out. Number 20, how old am I if 300 reduced by 4 times my age is 56? Let's come up with an equation here. So let's say that 300 reduced by, that's subtraction, 4 times my age, I'm going to say 4a, okay, showing some multiplication there, is 56, all right? And whenever you see is, that's usually equal sign. So we are going to get rid of the 300. I'll just keep the same color here to make it a little bit faster. And if you saw the previous video, there was a question, an age question kind of like this. It looks familiar, I'm sure. Minus 4a equals negative 244. Let's divide each side by negative 4. And notice how the answer does become positive when we're at our last step. And the answer will be 61. All right. Thanks for watching this video and hanging in there. I hope that you really did try them on a piece of paper and didn't just watch me. The last video in this series is going to be a combination of equations to solve and some word problems. All right. It should be about six or eight problems. So look for that. How to solve equations self quiz. All right, there you have it. I invite you to go to my website now, mathpowerline.com, or email me or give me a call. The way I work best with students is live online in my classroom. So if I can help you in any way, answer some specific questions, the first lesson with me is free as I show you how everything works. All right, study hard.